Hey, yo, what's going on with y'all boys and girls, man? Welcome back to the channel. You guys already seen the title today. We are asking the community their thoughts on the disqualifications at King of the Courts 2024. Let's jump into the video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You think that was the right choice? I think so, because, you know, like, you know, like, at a certain point, as a ref, you gotta put your foot down. If not, you let Plitz over the game. And right. I'm trying to get out the camera. That makes it, that shows the refs that if, if, you, if you don't take charge, then you're not stern. You gotta be stern. What do you think about people who say that the refing was too strict this year? I don't think about it. Migs, what do you think about the uh, DQs? Yesterday, Timbo and Gio. Today, Lowe's. I don't understand what's going on, man. It's just like, they don't. We don't know how to act. It's like, you know, Larry's not playing around. He's not playing around. So. Really putting his foot down. You know what I mean? When Larry's on the court and wrestling games, just got to be on point, man. Keep the calls. Worry about the next, you know what I mean? Right. That's how it is. Man. Okay, for sure. They know better than that. They know better. Yeah. Okay. They know better than Right. These guys are not new. Much is it justified? You're gonna DQ one, why not DQ the others? Okay, hold everyone to the same standard. Set a precedence, right? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Lou, I'm guessing they both had warnings before the double. They both had two each. So, okay, wow. So he's being kind of lenient. And he was generous. Many times Larry just walked away. He just ignored it. He just ignored it. You go out of seas, they don't play that. You get online, you're out. We have to oh, yeah, here. overseas? Yeah. You gotta do it here too because we have the most elite players. Right. So we gotta show them how strong we are. And Gio, today was the moment. Happened. Gio was saying Larry wasn't controlling the game, he was dictating the game. Is there a difference? Larry was taking charge as he should be from, from what I saw. Everybody will always feel attacked, you know? Whenever you play a game, it's always you versus the world. So you might feel and think differently. Just because you feel that way doesn't mean it's true. Right. But especially in the heat of the game, it's right? Really, it's really up to the players. It's really up to them and the, and the fans. If they feel like he's getting jerked, that's undone. I thought Larry was trying to take charge to take control. I take control. And it's rare to DQ people like that. Right. I was really. I, I don't think. I don't think a lot of people expected that. I definitely did not expect that. They get him. Too, they get him too much in the game, like they the player. They're not the player. They disqualify Timbo. They disqualify Joe. No, they disqualify Joe. With him, him. Lose? Lose. That's too much disqualifying. Hey, Thought, what's up? What's up? Thoughts what's on up? the DQs. Yesterday we had Timbo and Gio. Today, Los. What's the point of line reps? Um, Are we not going to take line reps? Well, you know movie critics, right? Crazy, yeah. Man. Movie critics see a lot of movies. And so it's really hard to impress a movie shit, critic bro. because they've seen it all. For sure. Right? Larry has been wrestling so much that he's seen it all. Yeah. So he's coming in, not jaded, but with a, a prejudice, a bias towards accepting no BS. Right. No BS. Right? And uh, people are coming and bringing the BS. <laughs> I think they were both warned, right? In this one, y'all both got your technicals. The next one, you just follow Right? They, they must have both had warnings. Is it one or two warnings and then DQ? No, no. It's usually, uh, you know, after the warning, you can actually DQ somebody. But, you know, it, it depends on what the level of offense is. You know. So that's the thing. Once you get that first DQ, you got to kind of ease up. And... Well, that first warning, yeah. Nothing is more important than the two guys on the court. Nothing is more important than that, right? Because you're here for a fight, right? You're here for a battle. You're here to see, like, mano a mano, man against man, the best man win. Right. And you want to have the least amount of interference in achieving the end result for that. On a separate note, aside from that package that I just sold you right there, aside from that, you have now professionalism as a host, a referee, that wants to satisfy his host and keep organization and professionalism and respect by way of authority. That's what Larry's trying to achieve. But how much does he go until that fine line where he walks where the refereeing becomes more important than the 
then what's the most important thing? You know what I mean? So it's a fine line to walk. You know what I mean? He's not wrong. He's not wrong. But the tournament was effective. The tournament was effective. But Larry wants to, you know, he wants to make sure that everybody knows going forward. Come correct. You know what I mean? Come correct. Don't just bring your hands yeah. and not your sportsmanship. Yeah. Yeah. And because it could ruin the look and the feeling to everybody else. Right. You know what okay. I mean? This is like sports entertainment, right? For sure. There's a, there's a point in time where the entertainment is ruined by cringy behavior. Know the rules? Don't try to bend them. Long volleys? How you gonna end them? Say you got shots, then you better send them. Call a timeout and change up the momentum. Know the rules? Stop with the reach and serve kill. Put it in sequence. When it gets hot, we bowling every weekend. Starting the AM, playing to the evening.